Yeah, so this, we really wanted to pick a topic for the students that could be or could result in a peer reviewed publication. And we wanted to pick something that we couldn't find any information on. So it would be completely new to science. You know, our ultimate question is whether or not these microplastic concentrations are related to pollutant concentrations, whether those be uh, man made pollutants or chemicals or their nutrients. Um, so just kind of looking at that um, and answering that question. Microplastics are a relatively new field of study that people are examining, whereas the organic pollutants have been studied a lot longer and we are able to track the travel of these pollutants much easier than we are the plastics. So we're hoping to find some sort of relationship between the two. So currently we are just doing a meta-analysis. So basically we're going to different databases and we are looking up different journal, uh, journal articles that focus on microplastic concentrations and pollutant concentrations. And specifically in the rivers and seawater and estuaries throughout um, several different locations around the United States. Uh, we expect to obtain the visual data representation in the forms of plots and graph which will depict the current status and relationships between uh, the microplastic and uh, persistent organic pollutants. We don't know much about their distribution and how they are dispersed throughout the environment. So the goal of this study was to look at the co-occurrence of microplastics and different um, pollutants to see if there's any correlation between the two so that we might be able to model how microplastics move through the environment, enter the environment, and how they're distributed. If we begin to see that there's a bit of, that there's the potential for harm due to the increasing ecotoxicology of these uh, microplastics, it'll, it'll indicate that we need to change the way that we manufacture our plastics or the way that we dispose of them because they're still getting into the environment and still causing harm when they're in the environment. And so you need to be able to have plastics that are able to fill, fulfill their purpose but don't degrade down and then persist in these micro particles that are able to accumulate so many toxins. This is the fourth summer I think we've run our summer team impact. So this summer we, every week, we had like a weekly workshop. So we did special ones on like the review process and publishing manuscripts and how to read a manuscript, how to obtain the data you need. Um, we did a workshop on R, like uh, the pr free programming software, uh, statistical software. So in my project, we have three other students besides me and it is very interesting to collaborate with them and network because everybody brings into the project something new and it's a lot of fun um, because we all have different interests you can kind of see that when we work together it's nice having a bit of variety and everyone wants to reach to the the same points. So it's definitely been really nice to have people on like from maybe our more, more of our mentor side, like somebody who's really knowledgeable in the area and who can be like, here's kind of some things you need to look into. And then being able to have someone work, we're working with like her who's able to kind of help us like organize that data and our findings into our spreadsheets that we need.